Hey everyone, thanks for checking in for Dig Deeper this week. Uh, this one's going to be fun and also it, it changes a lot about how we see things. The shift this week was from seen to unseen. The yeah. whole shift from the temporary to the eternal and what it looks like for us to actually live out the belief that we have that there's life after this life and yeah. that we live from much more than this earth. Uh, Phil, that, that can be so tough. It can be so hard to even be able to see what we can't see or live for what we can't see. What What is even just like the very beginning of how to make that shift happen or see that shift happen? Oh, man. Um, I, I would say it takes a glimpse of heaven, you know, and, and that doesn't have to be anything profound. But I, I've come to believe, so I really do believe that the, the kingdom of God is the point, you know, like we're all here temporarily on this earth um, and we lose sight of, of that. And it does take faith to believe that, but I really believe the kingdom of God is the point and that eternity is where God's promises live. Right. But I, I kind of feel like those moments you have, um, the, the moments that we hold on to in life, the moments that we chase, the feelings that we chase, um, whether through, you know, holy means or through unholy means, I think what we're searching for are those moments um, where I don't know how to describe it other than God pulls back the veil or the veil gets thin and we get a peak, kind of get a peak of heaven. Like when you have a profound moment of joy with your spouse or with your kids, um, that moment is to be a glimpse of, of heaven. It's, it's, it's not heaven. It's not a, a picture of heaven, but it's, it's a glimpse of if you think this is joy, Scripture says we see through a glass dimly, and then we'll see face to face. Like, we cannot fathom the joy. So when you think about that great moment, and if you can get to the point where you go, what God has is greater than that, that's the only thing that's going to ever give you the faith to have perspective, um, eternal perspective, in the world we're living in. Yeah, and I mean, right now, especially in the world we're living in, like, I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love to, to believe in the unseen, that would love to, to stop thinking about the scene, to stop thinking about all the things that are surrounding us and, and all of these things, like the chaos that just seems like it's pressing in. One thing that you talk about in, in your sermon is really trusting and believing and experiencing the protection of God. Yeah. What would you say to people that right now, like, they don't feel like God's protecting them? Um, I would say that, um, so when I've traveled the world and I've been to places where there, you know, there is nothing but God's protection, it is easy for people of faith in those places to see God's protection because they literally need him. And I would say to those of us in the United States, we don't have to live in a way where we feel our need for God every way, every day. And I, I would say it's really easy as believers to assume that the way we're living is, is a way that's leaning into God's protection when in reality we're doing everything on our own strength. And so what's really collapsing right now is my own strength. Um, it's not God's faithfulness. It's my own strength. We, we achieve a level of comfort and we thank God for that comfort, and that, I mean, rightfully so, uh, but that comfort was not part of his promise, um, and when we can't sustain the comfort anymore, we think God has been unfaithful because we think it's job, his job to sustain a level of comfort that we want, and, and it's just, that's just not realistic, and so I think, that's, I think being in the United States with as much privilege as we have, it's just a difficulty. I think it's just a difficulty, and uh, um, I think <laughs> the greatest thing getting in the way of us seeing God's uh, protection in this season is, is frankly just us. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's so oftentimes it can be so easy to even fall into that trap, to fall into the trap that what is seen is, and what we can control is how we protect ourselves, how we kind of create up walls of protection or in a lot of times we do that in relationships, we do that with our family, we, we do whatever it is. But when we finally get to that moment where we realize like no matter what I do, like 
I'm, I'm not going to be able to protect these things. Like, this is going to be taken away. This is, like, everything around me is going to fade, and God is going to be the only thing that remains. That realization and that glimpse of heaven mm-hmm. is, oh my gosh, it changes everything. Literally oh, everything. Yeah. And, and that's, that's difficult, I think, for a lot of people right now to see is maybe the light at the end of the tunnel. With COVID, with government stuff, with just loss. Like people are dealing with loss right now. Yeah. What is that encounter that Elisha's servant had?